Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we've been bringing you movies with screenplays written by Academy Award winner Robert Riskin. And next is another film that Riskin wrote for his frequent collaborator, director Frank Capra. It's a wonderful movie, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, released by Columbia Pictures in 1936. Now at the time this movie was made, the triple combination of Columbia Pictures, director Frank Capra, and writer Robert Riskin was a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Thanks to the Academy Award's ending success, it happened one night two years earlier. That movie took Columbia Pictures out of its low-ranking status as a Poverty Row studio, a factor which was a big help in them no longer having trouble getting big names to come and work at Columbia, as had always been a problem before. As for this movie, Riskin and Capper were able to nab Gary Cooper, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, and he's the one who plays Mr. Deeds in the movie. Full name, Longfellow Deeds. And Longfellow Deeds is a small town poet who inherits millions of dollars and then has to deal with all sorts of scammers trying to get that money. It was a great role for Gary Cooper and one that actually totally changed his film image. Now he'd been making films since his silent screen days and in the mid-30s became Paramount Pictures' most dashing leading man, co-starring with the likes of Marlena Dietrich and Helen Hayes. But this time, instead of being the handsome, lanky lover fighting with the Foreign Legion or fighting in the First World War, he was a personification of the simple, good, small-town guy. And that image is the one that defined Gary Cooper pretty much for the rest of his career. For his leading lady, Jean Arthur, this movie, Mr. Deeds, was the big break which had eluded her for over a decade. Already in her mid-30s, she'd appeared in over a dozen movies without making any impact at all. Discouraged, she then went to New York for a play, and that flopped, so she returned to Hollywood terribly discouraged. But perfect timing. Mr. Deeds was already in production without a leading lady, and one day Frank Capra wandered into a Columbia Studios screening room, happened to see some footage of Jean Arthur. Well, her distinctive voice and her flair for comedy in that test enchanted him, and soon after he cast her in Mr. Deeds, and it made her a major star. Cooper and Arthur turned out to be a terrific team, Robert Riskin's script was funny and original, and everybody had a big hit on their hands. Here it is, the movie that introduced the word pixelated into the English language. From 1936, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town.